On the campaign trail, Vice President and Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris announcing a sweeping set of economic proposals. At and, and at the same time, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump blasted Harris's plan, which also takes on price gouging. And WGN Shannon Halligan is joining us with more on that tonight. Shannon? Yeah, Kamala Harris introduced her economic agenda today. It's an attempt to tackle a vulnerability head-on, which under the Biden-Harris administration, grocery prices shot up 21 percent. In the battleground state of North Carolina, Vice President Kamala Harris announced a set of economic proposals Friday. They're aimed at cutting taxes and lowering the cost of groceries, housing, and other essentials. Costs are still too high. And on a deeper level, for too many people, no matter how much they work, it feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. During her speech, the Democratic presidential hopeful promoted her plan for a federal ban on price gouging by food producers and grocers. We all know that prices went up during the pandemic when the supply chains shut down and failed. But our supply chains have now improved. And prices are still too high. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump attacked his Democratic rivals' plans during a news conference Thursday. Now Kamala is reportedly proposing communist price controls. She wants price controls. And if they worked, I'd go along with it too. But they don't work. They actually have the exact opposite impact and effect. Trump inaccurately blamed inflation directly on government spending. Kamala Harris is a radical California liberal who broke the economy, broke the border, and broke the world, frankly. Meanwhile, Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance spoke at the Milwaukee Police Association Friday. Much of his remarks were aimed at Harris's record on crime. And these police officers fight to make that a reality every single day. And Kamala Harris is making their job harder, and Donald Trump is going to make their lives easier. Following Vance's speech in Milwaukee today, the senator's charter plane had to make an emergency landing. The campaign said that there was a door seal malfunction. The Boeing 737, though, was able to take off after repairs and landed safely in Cincinnati. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News. Thank you, Shannon.